We're asked to find the exact value of the expression in terms of x, assume x is greater than zero. We are given sine of two times inverse tangent of x divided by two. Inverse tangent of x divided by two is equal to an angle theta that has a tangent function value equal to the input of the inverse tangent function. And the angle theta must be in the open interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. So in our case, inverse tangent of x divided by two is equal to an angle theta that has a tangent function value of x divided by two, which means you can write the original expression as sine two theta. And now for the next step, let's model the angle theta on the coordinate plane and sketch the reference triangle. Because we are given x is greater than zero, we know the angle theta must be in the first quadrant. Let's say the angle theta is here. And now let's sketch the reference triangle. Since we know the tangent function value of the angle theta is equal to x divided by two, and tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, we can label the opposite side of the reference triangle x and the adjacent side two. And now for the next step, let's determine the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem, which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, where c is the hypotenuse and a and b are the lengths of the legs which in our case gives us c squared is equal to, let's let a equal two, which gives us the square of two, plus let's let b equal x, giving us the square of x. Simplifying, we have c squared is equal to, the square of two is four, the square of x is x squared, so we have c squared equals four plus x squared. We also know c, the hypotenuse, is always positive. So now we'll take the principal square root of both sides which gives us c is equal to the square root of the quantity four plus x squared. Notice the square root does not simplify because the sum of squares does not factor. Let's go ahead and label the hypotenuse. And now using the reference triangle and the double angle identity for a sine, we will evaluate sine two theta. Looking at the double angle identities, notice that sine two a is equal to two times sine a times cosine a, which means sine two theta is equal to two times sine theta times cosine theta. And we can determine sine theta and cosine theta using the reference triangle for the angle theta. Sine theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which gives us x divided by the square root of the quantity four plus x squared. And then we have times cosine theta, where cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which gives us two divided by the square root of the quantity four plus x squared. And now we multiply. If we want, we can write two as two over one. Multiplying the numerators, we have two times x times two, which is four x. And now multiplying the denominators, we have the square root of the quantity four plus x squared times the square root of the quantity four plus x squared, which simplifies perfectly to just four plus x squared. Now we need to be careful here. We cannot simplify out the fours because we cannot simplify across addition. And therefore, the given expression simplifies to four x divided by the quantity four plus x squared. I hope you found this helpful.